everyone. We're going to find the velocity and acceleration of a particle whose position function is given here, x of t. And that's the first thing we're going to do. And the second thing we're going to do is find where the particles find when the particle speed is increasing. So let's do the first part. The first part is just taking derivatives. So I'm going to write x of t again, which is 2t cubed minus 21t squared plus 60t plus 3. And so your um, velocity of t is just going to be 6t squared minus 42 t plus 60 and then your acceleration is going to be the derivative of your velocity which is going to be 12 t minus 42 so that's the first part now we have to uh, determine uh, find where the speed is increasing and where the speed is increasing is right in here when velocity and acceleration have the same signs so the first thing we want to do is take our velocity and factor it and solve for t. I'll pull out the 6. And set this to 0. The 6s will divide out and become 0. So you're left with t minus 2 and t minus 5 equals 0. So t equals 2 and t equals 5. So now, again, we are we starting with t is positive. So the intervals we want to uh, pick are from 0 to 2 and then from 2 to 5. And then for t greater than 5. And what you, uh, if I pick... 1 here, and you plug in 1, so I'll do that, so x of 1, so it'll be 2 minus 21 plus 60 plus 3, and you can kind of just tell by looking that that's going to be positive, so it's positive here on this interval, and I'll pick 3 for this one, so x of 3 is going to be 2 it's 3 cubed minus 21, 3 squared, plus 60 times t, um, sorry, times 3, plus 3. And when you do that, um, you're going to see this is negative. So this one's positive. Whoops, I'm going to do a different color. This one's positive, and this is negative. And then for this one, let's just try 6, plug that in. Sometimes you could just do these mentally. It's a lot easier than actually writing all this out. But plus 3, and you plug all that in, it's going to go positive again here. So this is positive. So the first interval, it's positive. Second interval, it's negative. And for this last one, it's positive. All right, now we have to determine uh, the acceleration. So we're going to set our acceleration here to zero. Now I'll go ahead and do it on the other page. So we have our acceleration equals 12t minus 42. Set that to zero, and that's going to give you t equals add the 42, divide by 12. And that reduces to 7 over 2. All right. So now we have to just look at our intervals between 0 and 7 over 2. And for t is greater than 7 over 2. Now, if I plug in, we already plugged in 1 before. And we noticed that um, the acceleration is negative. So if I plug in 1 here. So I'm going to get 12 times 1 minus 42. That is negative. And if I plug in, let's say, um, what, is this? what is this? Let's plug in 4. If I plug in 4 for this one, it 
that's going to end up being positive. So this is negative and this is positive. So the intervals where the velocity and acceleration have the same sign are going to be between 2 and 7 over 2. All right, and also where t is greater than 5. So these are where they have the same signs. All right, so that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.